according to information released by several U.S. newspapers, on July 6, 2023, the U.S. administration planned to supply Ukraine with artillery 155mm cluster munitions. An official announcement is anticipated on Friday, revealing that the Pentagon will send thousands of these munitions as part of a new military aid package worth up to $800 million. The use of such munitions has stirred controversy due to concerns about the potential harm they may cause to civilians, given the presence of unexploded submunitions scattered over a wide area. To address these concerns, the Pentagon intends to provide Kiev with cluster bombs that have a lower dud rate. This adjustment will result in significantly fewer unexploded rounds, thereby minimizing the risk of unintentional harm to civilians. Nonetheless, this decision is expected to generate discussions, as elaborated in this analysis. Cluster munitions, also referred to as cluster bombs, are weaponry engineered to release numerous smaller submunitions or bomblets over a wide expanse. These munitions serve the purpose of covering a large zone and causing harm to personnel, vehicles or accomplishing other objectives like infrastructure destruction or dispersal of various substances. Cluster munitions can be deployed through aerial drops or ground-based launches. They disintegrate in mid-air, scattering the submunitions across a broader area, thereby enhancing the likelihood of hitting multiple targets within the designated zone. The submunition can be detonated upon impact or triggered by a timer mechanism. Various delivery platforms are employed for cluster munitions, including aircraft, artillery, bombs, or missiles. Diverse types of cluster munitions exist. Anti-personnel cluster bombs utilize explosive fragmentation to target troops and soft targets. Anti-tank cluster munitions employ shaped charge warheads to penetrate armored vehicles. Incendiary cluster bombs are designed to initiate fires while mine-laying cluster munitions function similarly to conventional land mines. However, it is important to note that cluster munitions designed for the delivery of chemical weapons have been prohibited by the Chemical Weapons Convention. Additionally, there exist cluster munitions that disrupt power transmission systems or are employed for disseminating propaganda leaflets. Cluster bombs faced criticism and concern due to their potential harm to civilians, for several reasons. Firstly, many of the bomblets they release upon impact fail to detonate immediately, creating a long-term risk to civilians, as unexploded ordnance from cluster bombs can kill or maim people years or even decades after they were initially deployed. Furthermore, the use of cluster bombs in populated areas is seen as a violation of international humanitarian law by human rights groups, as they cause indiscriminate destruction. The use of cluster munitions is internationally regulated. Over 100 countries have signed the Convention on Cluster Munitions, committing to refrain from producing, using, transferring, or stockpiling these weapons. However, the United States, Russia, and Ukraine are not among the signatories. It is worth noting that since the Convention's adoption, a significant portion of global cluster munition stockpiles has been destroyed. Since the start of the invasion of Ukraine, Accusations have been leveled against Russia for allegedly utilizing cluster munitions in residential areas of Ukraine. Despite Russia's denial and insistence on exclusively targeting military installations with precision weaponry, the UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission, along with independent weapons experts, Ukrainian prosecutors, law enforcement agencies, international organizations, and NGOs, has reported numerous instances of the Russian military purportedly deploying cluster weapons on non-military targets. This includes 16 documented cases during the initial month of the 2022 conflict. Various forms of evidence, such as eyewitness testimonies, photographs, videos, and identified remnants of cluster munitions, have been presented to support these allegations. According to the Cluster Munition Monitor 2022, Russia has used at least six identified types of cluster munitions during the invasion of Ukraine, 220mm 9M27K series Uragan, 300mm 9M55K series Smirch, 300mm 9M54 series Tornado S, cluster munition guided missiles, 9M79 series Toka ballistic missiles, a variant of the Iskander M9 M723 ballistic missile specifically designed for cluster munitions, and the RBK-500 PTAB 1M cluster bombs. According to the same report, Ukrainian forces appear to have used cluster munitions, including Uragan cluster munition rockets, in at least three locations that were under the control of Russia's armed forces in March 2022. 
The proposed cluster munitions planned by the United States for Ukraine may consist of one of two main variants in the U.S. inventory, the M483 or the longer-range M864. These cluster munitions are 155mm artillery shells containing dual-purpose improved conventional munitions, d.p.i.c.m.s. Designed to open in mid-air, they release grenades capable of engaging both armored vehicles and dismounted troops. These 155mm howitzer shells can carry a total of 88 dual-purpose grenades. These grenades, strategically positioned within the shell, include 64 M42 grenades and 24 M46 grenades. The M42 grenades, located at the front, offer enhanced fragmentation, while the M46 grenades at the base contribute to the projectile's effectiveness. Upon expulsion from the shell during flight, the grenades arm while descending and function upon impact. The specific version to be provided to Ukraine is currently undetermined. The supply of cluster munitions to Ukraine could potentially assist Ukrainian forces in their counteroffensive against Russian troops, who have prepared defensive lines. However, the use of cluster munitions poses risks to Ukrainian forces as well, as unexploded munitions from previous deployments could endanger their operations.